INFJs are very unique creatures, and there's no doubt about that. And although they are depicted as empathetic, highly intuitive people, which is true, INFJs are only human, meaning they also have qualities that can make them difficult to deal with, just like the rest of us. Welcome back, Cycles. Today we'll be discussing 10 reasons why INFJs can be too much to handle. Make sure to stay until the end of the video where we reveal the INFJ trait that completely contradicts their empathetic nature. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel as well as click the notification bell so that you never miss a video. Number 1. Feeling too deep INFJs are led by introverted, intuitive feelings and judgement. The feeling nature of an INFJ can cause them to be hypersensitive of their own feelings, the feelings of others, and the world around them. Not only do INFJs have an empathetic side that allows them to absorb the feelings of those around them, but they also love diving deep into the pondering questions like, what's the meaning of life? Although INFJs wouldn't change this trait for anything, other personality types can easily become intimidated by how this introverted personality type can be so deep and so reflective of other people's feelings. INFJs tend to mirror feelings of others, so if they're dealing with someone who's in a crappy mood, they may just add to the misery. Number 2. The Awkwardness INFJs are reserved and private in nature, however, they really enjoy understanding human connection, so they can be great socialisers when they want to be. But sooner or later, an INFJ's true nature will show, and that's when things get a little awkward. When INFJs talk about topics that they're interested about, albeit the topics are probably extremely deep, other people don't know how to respond. Since we are brought up in a world of small talk and ingenuine conversations, and this is something that INFJs try to avoid at all costs, INFJs can automatically feel awkward when they're expected to maintain a small talk conversation, and even more awkward if they're expected to start one. In other words, INFJs would take awkward silence over small talk any day of the week, while others are usually the opposite. Number 3. Being too blunt One thing that could definitely lead to a little bit of awkwardness in a conversation with an INFJ is their blunt honesty. Although these personality types will intuitively feel it's the right time or the right person to share their honest opinion with, they won't be afraid to slightly hurt someone's feelings whom they know can handle it, if it will better them as a person. These personality types will never give criticism or honesty if it doesn't help the situation, but sometimes people aren't willing to hear the truth even if it will set them free, which makes INFJs seem like a lot to handle. Number 4. Being a know-it-all INFJs can be considered know-it-alls because they really do know and notice things that other people don't. The feeling and judgement nature of this personality type leads them to need to know things, which is why they ponder philosophical questions that can hardly be answered. INFJs spend a great deal of their day trying to understand things on a deep level, and this constant practice actually pays off with a very unique wealth of knowledge. Plus, the intuitive side of INFJ personality types allows them access to answers that wouldn't be apparent through the details of the situation. Sounds great, right? Well, not everyone. In fact, INFJs know a lot of things that they can't really back up with an explanation because it's just a feeling. And although their intuition is rarely wrong, it can be a lot to handle if people around them aren't as understanding of the intuition as they are. In fact, these traits can sometimes come off as annoying to people who need facts and details to fully understand something. Number 5. Being overly stubborn Stubbornness can easily become a lot to handle for other people, especially if they don't agree with the reasoning behind the avoidance of being persuaded. And with that being said, INFJs are stubborn individuals. Mostly because these personality traits are strong-minded and determined individuals who rarely feel obligated to go with the flow of what other people are doing. 
INFJs hate to disappoint others, but their strong intuitive push to go in the direction towards their goals of self-improvement allow them to put their foot down should they be challenged on their views or their decisions. This can be very difficult for people around INFJs who tend to be more traditional in life because they can't grasp the thought of making decisions solely to better themselves. Number 6. Expecting too much of people INFJs are high achievers. They are wired to strive for greatness and although it's not for means of completion, they still expect the same from those around them. In fact, the closer you get to an INFJ, the more they'll expect of you because they begin to really see your potential. This can be most difficult in relationships because INFJs expect ideal relationships with their partners and should their relationship fall short of this expectation, they may begin to question the connection as a whole. This can be difficult for friends and family of an INFJ as well because these personality types have difficulty accepting someone for who they are without pushing them to be better. This is not out of judgement of character, but more because INFJs see the direction their loved ones could go to be headed for greatness. Number 7. The Need for Independence INFJs are introverts, and introverts tend to be a little more independent compared to the extrovert counterpart. So when a friend invites them to come run errands, they will gladly decline. INFJs not only need their independence, but they are also slightly confused when trying to understand people who don't enjoy theirs and can't do anything on their own. This misunderstanding can be difficult to put up with as a friend or especially as a spouse of an INFJ who wants the INFJ to tag along for simple things like picking up the kids from school or grocery shopping. These personality types actually think more clearly when they're alone because they aren't influenced by others' emotions and feelings, and some people just can't relate. Number 8. Using their gifts for evil INFJs are human, meaning they are far from perfect. Some INFJs have yet to discover their power of using their gift for good, so they instead use them to get what they want. As we know, INFJs are keen on figuring people out and finding out what makes them tick. Usually, this amazing ability is used to further connect with people. Yet, some INFJs use this quality to get what they want by means of manipulation. They may find the weak spots in people and prey upon that to get what they want, even if it's not with malicious intent. Some INFJs even see themselves as superior over other people because they think intuitively, which makes it more tempting for them to use their knowledge of humans for their own benefit. Number 9. Being too hard on themselves INFJs are hard on themselves past the point of striving for greatness. These personality types tend to take things out on themselves as a means of further understanding and accepting their shortcomings. They set such a high expectation for themselves that they are somewhat surprised should they fail or not work out in their favour. They begin to question which details they missed, what they could have done differently and so on. This trait can easily become too much to handle for someone close to an INFJ who can see how brilliant they are and can't understand the method to their madness. And number 10. The INFJ Door Slam Ah, the INFJ door slam. If you've ever wronged an INFJ for a long period of time, you have probably had this exact door slam in your face, and you've probably never seen them again once that door was closed. Going completely against this understanding and empathetic nature, INFJs won't hesitate to completely cut people out of their lives who have done them wrong and no amount of apologising or warming up will make them change their mind. INFJs automatically attract people who need help and advice, so they need to have clear boundaries and a clear escape route, should these boundaries be crossed. So this can be pretty annoying for the person on the other side of the door but realistically, they probably deserved it. So, Cycles, tell us in the comments below if you're an INFJ who relates to these reasons you can be too much to handle. 
Also, don't forget to leave us a like, share this video with your friends and also subscribe to our channel for more cycle videos.